Hello and welcome again. Um, today I'm here um, to explain the topic limiting factors. Um, so most of the examiner are highly testing this topic in exam. If you're a management accounting student or you're studying ACCA F5, so you can expect some five to ten marks question regarding limiting factors. So what thing, what is limiting factor is uh, limiting factors is any factor that is uh, limited in supply okay that stop organization from expanding activity further so what the, i mean if you have desirable demand uh, or you have expectable expected demand and so obviously you would like to have that much productivity but unfortunately sometimes some things can stop you for example labor uh, materials can be a shortage and you can have machine capacity limited so how to solve this problem so obviously there is no solution if there is some shortage for example think of london underground um, some officer can be on strike um, some sometime um, train not working so you need to use them efficiently now how to use them efficiently so so but if you come to production industry what we need to do is we need to produce those products which has high contribution. High contribution, what is contribution? Contribution means selling price minus variable cost. Now those products, so we need to rank them and, that, and put them on priority. For example, if there are some six, seven products, so find the contribution and then rank them. But in order to, the best approach is, there's example. Example is very simple. Now, company want to produce two product, mash and sauce. Now, direct material, okay, a pound, um, three dollar or something. Okay, direct labor, is so direct labor they paying three dollar per hour. Um, so total expense is six. So there is two hours required. In short, like two times three, six. Because look at this currency um, symbol. So it means that in the form of currency. Variable overhead is one dollar. Now, marsh, um, the demand is the sales demand is written three thousand. Source is five thousand. Now, if you're producing three thousand unit and each unit required two hours, see, uh, like three dollar per hour. Um, so, so total expense is automatically two hours. So six thousand hours would be required. But we have a limitation of eight thousand hours so two thousand hours left okay this source required um, i mean the total expense is three dollar yes and the cost per hour is three dollar as well so one hour job is done one time three is three so um so five thousand hours will be required like for each each unit required one hour or so so total production is um so five thousand hours required so six thousand for this uh, 5,000 to 11,000 hours, so we have only 8,000 hours. Imagine the situation you're working for a company and and there's a shortage of labor or labor are on strike. So what we need to do, the prices are given to you. Okay, so if you look at this one is material. So determine the production budget that would maximize the profit. So being a management accountant or being a manager, so your job is to increase the company profitability so prices are given to you they the sales price for the marsh is 14 dollar and this 11 dollar for the sauce so what we need to do is so the selling price minus the variable cost which include direct material direct labor and other variable overhead if you look at down okay the way it's done is so so confirm the limiting factor as we say is look the marsh required two hours, source required one hour, 3,000 units, so three times two, 6,000 hours would be required, so total 11,000 hours, and we have only 8,000, so 3,000 is the shortfall. So what we can do is we can't, cannot produce the desirable uh, level, which is 3,000 plus 5,000, 8,000 units cannot be produced. So we need to uh, produce but less amount of one item. So how to solve this problem? So first of all, we need to find contribution. The contribution is selling price minus variable cost. Variable cost was given to you is $8 for this product. If you look at this one, it's given to you $8. If you add them up all together, adding up to 8 
Now eight dollar so fourteen minus eight so six so eleven minus uh, eleven is the selling price uh, variable cost is seven so four so this product giving us six dollar contribution this one is four now if you look at this one obviously this one is much better much but don't forget that you need to compare in terms of limiting factors which is hours labor hours now. Obviously, we're getting $6 contribution, which is a bigger contribution than $4 contribution. But the hours required here is this only required one hour. So one hour spending and you're getting four pound contribution. Here you're getting two hours spending, you're getting six pound contribution. So for me, this look much better. If you spend like two hours, so you can get eight. Yes. And here you get two hours, only six. So obviously, that so in terms of limiting factors so six divided by two hours is limiting factor so three dollar and four divided by one so we should produce this one first marsh so we need to put all the hours in marsh whatever left sorry sauce and then we whatever left need to be placed in marsh so what we need to do is rank them so in, in terms of ranking okay source should be first mashes should be second so demand is 5000 and unit and each unit required one hour so 5000 hours gone okay this one required 6000 hours but unfortunately we don't have it okay so we can only only put 1000 hours sorry 3000 hours okay when so i mean 3000 hours so when you have 3,000 hours and require 6,000, so you can only produce 50%, like 3,000 of 6,000 is 50%. So you can only produce 1,500 units. If you take 50% of this, so 1,500 units you can, 1,500 units you can produce. So source will eat, will take all the hours. Reason why? Because the source is a better product than the marshes in terms of contribution so if you do this thing is you produce sources all of the sources the remaining hours should be invested in mashes okay and then you find so contribution is given to you four dollars six dollars you're producing five thousand units so four times five is twenty thousand and here is six times three uh fifteen hundred so that is nine thousand so altogether twenty nine thousand less the fixed cost and that is 20,000 so 9,000 is the profitability so contribution so in short conclusion so produce a product first which has high contribution in terms of limiting factor which was sources marshes was come second so obviously invest all the hours in the one which is highly profitable anything hours left for example in our case only 3000 hours left but required 6000 but we cannot produce with 3000 units uh, 3000 hours all um, like i mean required 6000 and we have only 3000 so we can produce only half so when you're producing half so that will be production 1500 so that is the idea about limiting factor if you have any question drop me a comment i can explain you in more detail any question don't be afraid just write me a comment and I will get back to you thanks for watching bye